This 40 minute yoga class is all about slowing down, tuning in and connecting to your breath. By the end of this yin yoga stretch, you'll feel calmer in your mind and more relaxed in your body. In yoga, the breath acts as a bridge between your body and mind. By focusing on your breath, you can quiet your busy thoughts and sink into the soothing sensations of each pose. Together, we'll fortify the bridge between your mind and body, leaving you with a deeper sense of self-awareness and inner calm. We'll begin seated on the mat. We'll begin by grounding ourselves with a simple yet powerful breathing technique called 4-8 breathing. Once you're in a comfortable seated position, ensure your spine is tall and your shoulders are relaxed. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing so or simply soften your gaze. Let's begin by taking a deep breath in through the nose, counting to four as you inhale. Feel the breath filling your lungs and expanding your chest. Now, exhale slowly and steadily through your mouth, counting to eight as you release your breath. Feel the sensation of letting go and allowing any tension to melt away with each exhale. Continue this pattern of inhaling for a count of four and exhaling for a count of eight, allowing your breath to flow naturally and effortlessly. As you breathe, imagine yourself rooting down into the earth, like a sturdy tree with strong roots anchoring you in place. Feel the support of the ground beneath you, grounding and centering you in this present moment. Take a few more rounds of 4-8 breathing, allowing yourself to sink deeper into this grounded state. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes and take a moment to notice how you feel. We'll gently stretch the neck by dropping your right ear towards your right shoulder and take a big breath in through the left side of your neck.
Now slowly transition to the other side, breathing deeply in through the right side of your neck. Come back to center and look up, breathing in through your throat. And as you exhale, drop your head down and breathe in through the back of your neck. You can come back to center, bring your right hand onto the mat beside you, rainbow your left arm across, keep both seat bones grounded into the earth, maybe look up at your left hand and breathe in through your left ribcage. With an exhale, transition to the opposite side. Seat bones grounded as you maybe look up, breathing in through the right side of your body. Exhale to come back to center, taking a little rotation towards the right, gently squeezing your back. And we'll rotate towards the opposite side now. Maybe looking behind you and squeezing any tension out of your spine. From here, you can bring the soles of your feet together for butterfly pose. Knees gently flop open. Don't force anything here. The further you have your feet from your body, the less intense this will be. You're not forcing anything here. You're just allowing your body to be exactly as it is. Bring your awareness to your breath. Feeling that expansion of your chest and belly once again but maybe noticing some differences around how your breath feels in your body this time. Each exhale lets go of tension and helps you to surrender that little bit more into the pose. We'll be here for five minutes in total. Trying your best to keep your mind anchored through your breath to your body. If your mind wanders away, that is totally normal, perfectly human. Once you notice yourself engaged in those thoughts, just come back to your breath and back to your body.
Take a few more breath cycles here, feeling yourself surrendering and rooting deeper into the ground with each exhale. When you're ready to do so, you can slowly come back up out of the pose. And we'll release with some windshield wipers, just gently dropping the knees from side to side. And from here, you can come to lie on the front of your body, finding Sphinx Pose by having your forearms on the mat in front of you. Elbows are either in front of the shoulders or maybe underneath the shoulders. Feet are whatever distance apart feels comfortable for you. And allow your chest to shine forward here so you can look straight out ahead and with each breath in, feel the expansion of your chest, maybe feeling your belly spilling across the mat. And with each exhale, resisting the urge to slump, but just maintaining the integrity of this pose. We'll be here for three minutes. There will be an option to come into seal pose, taking the stretch a little bit deeper. If you're not ready to go deeper today, don't worry, you can just stay in sphinx pose, or you can come down to lie in crocodile pose, 
just taking a little rest. You can stay resting on the mat like so, or you can come back into Sphinx Pose. If you want to take it further into Seal Pose, you can now bring your hands next to your chest, widen your feet a little bit further apart, and then slowly pick yourself up until your arms are straight. Keep breathing as steadily as you can, clearing out any blockages from your torso. We'll be here for one minute. Now you can slowly come back down into crocodile pose, making a pillow of your hands to rest your head on and bringing your big toes together so your heels flop out towards the edges of the mat. And staying here for a moment to digest all of the poses you've done so far. We'll round our spine again now by slowly coming back into child's pose. Bringing your knees in underneath you, try to keep them as close together as is comfortable for you. Sitting back on your heels, your forehead can come onto the mat in front of you or it can rest onto your hands. If you're not using your hands, they can come to rest palms up next to your feet. Here in child's pose, both your physical and mental awareness is slowly being dragged inwards. So feel your breath. Notice how it travels into your body now that you're all curled up. And with each exhale, letting go, surrendering and dropping that little bit deeper into the ground.
take a few more breaths here in child's pose. And when you're ready to release the pose, you can slowly come back up, finding a comfortable way to sit on the mat and just feeling the effects of the pose. From here, we're coming into a toe squat. So you can bring your toes in underneath you, maybe releasing your little toes if they're feeling squashed. Your weight is centered around the balls of your feet rather than in your toes. Hands might come into prayer position at the front of your body. Or if you want to stretch out through your wrists, you can come into reverse prayer, bringing your fingertips together at your back and then very gently bringing your hands into that prayer position. We're staying here for about a minute and a half in total. But if this pose feels too intense, please come out of it. Don't feel like you have to do the full duration of this hold. It can take some time and a lot of practice to work up to longer holds in toe squat, so don't feel bad if you do have to come out. And while you are in the pose, using your breath, feeling yourself inhale and feeling yourself Exhale. Now you can slowly come back up onto your knees, release your feet and sit back down. Feeling the effects of the pose releasing your hands slowly back to the front. Extend your right arm out in front of you with your fingers pointed down and gently pull them back towards you. Point your hand up and gently pull it back. And do the same with your left wrist. Now we'll come into ankle stretch. You might already be feeling enough of a stretch in your ankles just by sitting on your feet. But if you do want to go a little bit further, you can start to lean back on your hands. Keep your knees together and very slowly lift them up. As you feel that gentle stretching sensation in your ankles, Imagine that you're breathing in and out from them. As you're ready, you can come out of ankle stretch. Release your feet from underneath you and just come to sit on the mat. Find your breath again. 
notice if it's feeling different within your body now, or if the energy within your body and your mind is starting to shift at all. We'll be coming into two minutes of a squat now. So you can bring your feet to about mat width distance apart. Toes are pointed away from you. It's okay if your heels are in the air. Elbows come to the inside of the knees. And the hands find each other in prayer position. Spine is relatively straight. Inhale to feel your upper body expanding. And exhale to feel tension leaving your groin, your hips, your lower back. Before we leave the pose, there is an option to take a little side body stretch here. Dropping your right hand onto the mat in front of you. And then slowly opening your left arm up towards the sky. Left hand can come back to the ground and repeat on the opposite side. And from here we'll come into dangling pose, tilting forward and slowly straightening the legs. Feet come back into about mat with distance apart. Hold opposite elbows. Your elbows can either rest on your thighs or you can let them drop towards the ground. Knees can be bent here to target and strengthen your quads, or you can have your legs straighter to stretch and open up your hamstrings. Staying here for two minutes, feeling gravity slowly opening up your spine as your head surrenders deeper and deeper towards the ground.
We'll release dangling pose now by slowly coming into downward facing dog. Hands can come back to the mat, walk them towards the front of the mat and step both feet back to the back of your mat. You can stretch all through the backs of your legs, maybe sway your hips from side to side. Do whatever you need to do to release your body. Option here to come into three-legged dog by slowly lifting your right leg up. Bend your knee and try to bring the foot over towards the left side of the mat. You might take some ankle rotations here. Dropping your foot back to the ground, repeating on the left side trying to bring that left foot over towards the right side of the mat and doing some little ankle circles. Right foot comes back down. Drop both knees back down onto your mat and now come to lie on the back of your body. Taking a moment in corpse pose, spreading your legs and arms wide apart. Palms are facing up as you feel the ground beneath your entire body. Now you can hug your right knee up towards your chest, maybe rotating through your ankle again. Now right foot can come onto the left thigh as you expand your right arm up into the sky. Bring your right knee over towards the left side of the mat, stacking your hips on top of each other and then releasing your right arm back down to the right. You can go deeper by looking to the right. Both shoulders stay on the ground here as you very gently twist and surrender through your spine. Noticing the effects that this position has on your breath. Is it easier or harder to take those deep belly breaths? When you're ready, you can slowly come back to center, resting on your back for a breath. And now your left knee can hug to the chest. Little rotation for your left ankle. And then bring the left foot onto the right thigh. Reach your left arm up into the sky. Drop your knee towards the right as you stack your hips. And make sure both shoulders are still on the ground. You can go deeper by looking to the left.
slowly start to move back to center. And when you're there, you can bring both knees up into your chest, keeping your feet beside each other and giving yourself a hug. And when you're ready, you can unfurl out into corpse pose, lying on your back. Or if you're like me and the sun was shining on your face, you're welcome to rest on the front of your body in crocodile pose. And we'll spend the last two minutes of our practice allowing the body to completely surrender to relax and to root deeply into the ground beneath you. You can allow the awareness of your breath to go and just let yourself naturally breathe in and naturally breathe out. When you're ready to release the pose, you can start to make gentle movements, bringing your awareness back. And when you're ready, you can slowly bring yourself back up into a seat. And once you're there, sit with your spine tall, your shoulders relaxed, your jaw loose. Notice how your body and your mind feels. If you enjoyed this practice, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe so we can practice again in the future. Until then, take good care of yourself and goodbye.